Uh, let's do some cool stuff found. We have a couple of minutes left. Listener John sends us one. He said uh, the My Radar app, uh, M Y R A D A R, all one word, capital M, capital R, has a feature that I haven't seen before. And he sent us a screenshot where he says it shows when the high low temperatures will occur, not just what the high low temperatures of the day are. And it is. It's he, he sent us a screenshot of a five day detailed forecast. And it shows a little bar that, you know, covers the 24 hours of the day. And on the wherever he was, you know, on Thursday, it was going to be a high of 73 and a low of 64. So he definitely doesn't live where I do. And uh, and it showed, you know, that the high was going to be at 1 p.m. and the low was going to be at 11 p.m. That's pretty cool. Uh, and, you know, the other days, the same thing. I like that. That's outstanding. Huh. And it even shows like the. A, a color coded graph of the temperature evolution throughout the day, too. And again, some of this stuff is obvious, you know, it's it's but, you know, one day the high was going to happen at 3 p.m. instead of 1 p.m., you know, which is wait, and depending on where you live. I remember when we were, were in Texas, the high would generally be about four or five p.m., not noon, which living in New England, growing up in New England, I was shocked about. It. I was like, wait, I thought the high was always, you know, at noon. I was like, no. No, not just here, not everywhere. So, yeah, yeah. I like it also has so it shows one day where the high was 47 and the low was 33. Yeah, that's pretty close to freezing. And uh, but the bar is differently colored for that day, which I think yeah. is what it's indicating is like because, uh, you know, for those of you that live in certain parts of the country, um, when it's freezing out, that's bad for uh, you don't want frozen pipes, which I had once, and it's not fun. <laughs> no, you want to make sure your heat's running. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that sucked. We were out at Macworld and it got to be like two degrees at home. Like, oh, yeah. That's not no bueno. 